Hey, how's everyone doing? Staying healthy? Washing your hands? That's good, just checking in, just making sure. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 scary germs that can end the world. So according to some scientists, they believe that our current living conditions are exceptional for a virus to thrive in, especially new ones. The first fact that they point out is overpopulation. As a result, people are now in closer contact with each other and other species, making the virus easier to transmit. And lastly, we are destroying more and more animals' habitats. As a result, big predators are being scared away, but small animals like rats and mice will thrive. Those are the animals typically said to carry the dangerous bacteria. So basically, we're putting ourselves more at risk and making ourselves more susceptible to viruses. Starting off this countdown, we have the antibiotic resistant germs. So scientists theorize that with the increased use of antibiotics in our everyday lives, like in animal production and human medicine, that we are at risk of developing bacteria that are resistant to it all. Apparently, we are already seeing this happen. Lance Prince, a founding director at the Antibiotic Resistance Action Center, claims that 23,000 people died last year of untreatable infections. He then mentioned that this is already happening to certain bacteria like E. coli. Robert Redfield, the director at Center for Disease Control, stated that a death from antibiotic resistant infections occurs about every 15 minutes, and a resistant infection occurs every 11 seconds. So with that being said, it's just a matter of time before we face a killer disease that is now immune to our treatments. Moving on at number 9, we have the Asian Longhorn Tick Disease. Scientist Richard Osfeld claims that due to climate change and land development, a new tick-borne disease could arise. So the Asian longhorn tick carries a deadly viral pathogen. It was first discovered in East and Central Asia. However, it is now in eight states in the US. And scientists don't know how it got there. So Richard believes that the pathogen that these ticks carry could pose a great threat to mankind. If they continue to strengthen or combine with a new form of this pathogen, then the results could be catastrophic. In our eighth spot, we have the Marburg virus. So this virus is from the same family as the Ebola virus. It is said to be highly fatal and could cause worldwide suffering if an outbreak ever occurred. The Center for Disease Controls and Prevention states that severe symptoms can include jaundice, inflammation of the pancreas, severe weight loss, delirium, liver failure, massive hemorrhaging, and multi-organ dysfunction. So the Marburg virus is most commonly found in Africa. However, there has been an outbreak in Germany and Yugoslavia. It is said that it could take up to three weeks before the infected show any signs, meaning they could be contagious and spreading it around without them knowing. Now, the World Health Organization claims that this virus is among the most harmful pathogen known to infect humans. What's terrifying is that this virus can cause your skin to peel off and cause bleeding all over your body. It also has an 80 to 90% fatality rate. The first outbreak of this virus was contained. However, it keeps popping up randomly. So people theorize that the next time it pops up, we might not be able to contain it. Making our way down the list at number seven, we have influenza. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, there are four types of flu viruses. These are influenza A, B, C, and D. Now in 1918 and 1919, 100 million people died from a form of H1N1. Then in 2009, the pandemic struck again and 200,000 individuals died. So now scientists theorize that new and deadlier forms of this infectious disease may arise in the future. And like any other pandemics, they claim that it's going to be hard to contain. Moving on to number six, we have the Spanish flu. So I mentioned the Spanish flu briefly in my other video, Top 10 Scary Pandemics to Ever Hit Mankind. But basically, it is regarded as the largest influenza pandemic in history. It killed up to 50 million people. People that got infected ended up getting a deadly form of pneumonia. As a result, their skin would turn blue and they would suffocate from the fluid filling in their lungs. It is said that this flu disappeared after all the infected died, or if they were lucky, developed immunity. Many people infected with this illness would die a couple hours after showing symptoms. Now, it is said that every 40 years, the world is hit with a major flu epidemic. At any time, the next flu could be a big one that we don't have protection from. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with SARS. Scientists hypothesize that SARS is another disease that might make a comeback in the future. 
If you look at the history of other big pandemics, they all have made their appearance multiple times. So what's stopping them from coming back again? So SARS is caused from a strain of coronavirus that spreads from mammals to humans. It infected 8,000 people worldwide, 800 of which died as a result. After getting scars, people developed pneumonia which can lead to respiratory failure. Other people had heart or liver failure as a result. SARS could potentially come back and wipe out the planet. There's no cure for it, so if it spread fast and got to a lot of people, we could be overwhelmed with cases and it could be deadly. Coming in at number 4, we have the Black Death. The Black Death is said to be one of the worst catastrophes in human history. It managed to wipe out half of Europe's population in 4 years. The death toll for this plague is anywhere from 75 to 200 million individuals. Now, this happened back in the 14th century, but that doesn't mean that it can't resurface again today. In fact, scientists say that it could happen again. And now, imagine how much more quickly it would spread in a society with more individuals in closer spaces. And each year, a handful of people still catch a plague from mice. So, what if we get in contact with a new form of bacteria similar to the one that caused the Black Plague? It definitely would take a huge toll on society, and it would spread worldwide at alarming rates. Making our way down the list at number 3, we have the bioengineered germ. Now, for every big virus outbreak, there is a conspiracy theory saying that it was bioengineered by the government, blah blah. But what if there really is a virus that emerges as a result of bioengineering? So, we are currently doing so many tests on species and bacteria that we could accidentally create a deadly virus. Or, with everything that's going on, a virus could be created as a bioweapon to harm another country and then it would just spread worldwide. A biological warfare might just occur in the future, which would be deadly for all of us. In our second spot, we have the ancient virus. So with global warming being an increasingly large issue, we can see that the polar ice caps are melting at an alarming rate. And the arctic permafrost is thawing. Well, people think that an old virus is going to escape from the arctic permafrost. Permafrost is said to be good at preserving viruses and bacteria, because the cold, dark environment allows them to thrive. Scientists say that the DNA of a 30,000 year old virus was already discovered in the Siberian ice. So now they theorize that this too will happen in the arctic. And chances are it will be a virus that we have never seen before, meaning we will need to find a cure before it wipes us all out. And in our number one spot, we have Disease X. This is an unknown disease that scientists believe and anticipate could wipe out all of mankind. They don't know what this disease is, but after analyzing the current state of our world, they are convinced that it will happen in the future. Like I mentioned before, we are setting up the earth to be a perfect environment for a new outbreak to occur. World Health Organization Committee science advisor John Arne Rotingen says that the next big outbreak will be something that we haven't seen before. The World Health Organization then goes on to say that it's only a matter of time before an extremely deadly disease wipes out the population. There are so many different strains of bacteria and viruses that they could easily change and form a new disease. And that's it for today's video, let's move on to our comment shout out. I'll be shouting out comments from my video top 10 pandemics to ever hit mankind. Bill and Clara Weaver commented, I went to Walmart today. There wasn't a single roll of toilet paper, like WTF. Yeah, that's what happens when people panic, they go out and they buy all the toilet paper like it's going to solve the issue. But honestly I think it's because it makes them feel in control of the situation, but at the same time, don't hoard toilet paper, we all need it, please. Cheyenne Washington commented, I'm drinking water a lot. That's good. Stay healthy. Stay hydrated. Let's all, you know what? We're all gonna go and we're gonna get a drink of water right now and we're gonna drink it. Everyone do it together. Drink that. I'll get my water. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Nice. AQSA or OXA commented, have y'all realized that there's a new pandemic every election? 2008, swine flu. 2005, HIV AIDS. 2012, Ebola. 2018, MERS. 2020, Coronavirus. If this is true, I think you're on to something, okay? Until the government just like shows up at your door. Watch out, may have figured it out. And that's all the comments I'm shouting out for you today. If you want a chance to be featured in our next comment shout out, then don't forget to comment something down below. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>
What drink is it today? Oh, Pellier. Nice. Pellier. <laughs> That's how I would say it. Perrier. <laughs> that we are at risk for developing bacteria that... Um, that we are at risk... Oh my god. That we are at risk of developing bacteria that are all... Oh my god. <laughs> you got it? You got it Apparently we already... Oh my god. This is gonna be terrible. Okay. <laughs> Apparently we are... All, uh, Holy crap. This is bad. This is really bad. Okay. Lance Prince of... Oh my god, I can't... Chris, this is insane. What is happening? Can I start over? No. The Black Death is said to be one of the worst c catastrophes. Permafro permafrost is said to be... Permafrost... <laughs> <laughs> Screaming, Daddy. 